Hello everybody, um, this is Joey and I wanted to tell you that Newt Gingrich is a number one crazy or a number two a uh, big fucking liar and who will say anything to get elected. Um, I think he's both really, but uh, which I'll get into that at another point, but um, it's kind of a theory I have that anybody that's in a position of power and des desires to be in such a, a, a high position of power is has got to be crazy. And so I I know he's crazy, but a number two, um, he's a, he's a liar who will say anything to get elected. So uh, I'm going to have you watch a clip, and uh, then we'll be back and we'll discuss the clip. By the end of my second term. We will have the first permanent base on the moon, and it will be American. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that clip. <laughs> um, the uh, main purpose of that was to show that my point, that's Newt Gingrich in Florida, uh, and I believe he's in Cocoa, Florida, which is probably less than 30 miles from Cape Canaveral uh, so it's right in the middle of Florida space industry they call it the Space Coast uh, it's all about NASA it's all about space there and that that area has taken a big hit and I was down there last year because I, I enjoy that area of the country and um, they were still uh, flying shuttles at that point I saw the last shuttle uh, to be launched on the pad I uh, did not uh, my vacation didn't coincide with the launch I wish it had of but uh, did not so uh, but I did see get to see the last shuttle on the pad so that's that's something cool anyway um, that that place is taking a big hit uh, it's not nearly as uh, like just going, you know, to the space center there, Cape Canaveral is just there's not as many people there, not as many tourists there. Even there's um, uh, the the amount of employees there is just drastically reduced. Um, so that 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 part of the country is taking a big economic hit uh, with the with the downturn of the space program. So. Um, it's it's very popular it would be a very popular stance to say I'm all about space you know I'm ready to send humans to the moon again you know and by the end of my term which is gonna be like uh, eight years so we got eight years to do that I think technically we can do it I think we have the the technical know-how uh, if we were given the task we would have the drive to get it done I think we could get it done um, it wouldn't be nearly as difficult I don't think to do it this time as it was the first time because the computer technology is so much better now uh, the material science is so much better now the engineering is so much better now the you know there's all these things that are uh, so much more advanced because of our earlier work in space and because of our ongoing work in space um, there's there's a lot of things that would that would make an eight you know getting from from not having a vehicle to uh, having you know people on the moon in in eight years feasible technically um, uh, and even economically I think you know we could do this but um, and would I like to see it personally? Yes, yes, I would love to see something like that. But is it going to happen? No, it's not going to happen. Uh, Newt is just saying this stuff because he wants those people in that part of the country to vote for him. Um, I think my enthusiasm for such a program is not mainstream uh, thought 
uh, I would love to jump behind this guy and say, yes, please, let's go do this. Um, but I know that this is just politics. This is just, you know, as soon as he got in to office, this would, you would never hear about this again. This would be, you know, they would say, you know, Newt, what happened to your moon base by the end of, you know, 2020? And he's like, well, you know, we had all these other factors I wasn't aware of, or, you know, we got all this going on and the economy turned in this way or did that. He'll have some excuse why it doesn't, it's not going to happen, but it's not going to happen. Even if he is elected, not going to happen. Even if we got, you know, all of his buddies into Congress, not going to happen. I mean, it's just, it's not going to happen. He's not going to do it. There's a difference between saying it, having a real goal, uh, wanting it, wanting it to happen, wanting it to get done and actually, uh, having to follow through to make it happen, uh, and pushing for it because, uh, he's going to run smack into a couple of problems. You know, the, the economy is kind of a problem. Uh, although I think a program like that would be a huge economic boost to the country. Uh, but, but, uh, he's going to come up against his hardest, um, uh, opposition from his own party that they're not going to go for this because it's going to cost billions of dollars. It's going to cost hundreds of billions of dollars. It could get into the trillions of dollars. So, um, especially if you're looking at having a permanent base on the moon, I mean, that's, that's a big, uh, endeavor right there. It's, uh, a lot of money, a lot of, uh, effort and time is going to have to be thrown at that, especially in such a short time frame to make it happen. I mean, that's what happened with Apollo. Um, Apollo was incredibly expensive for the time, and uh, but they were just throwing money at it to make it happen. So, I mean, because they were had such a short time frame, and it was amazing that they did, you know, make it happen. But uh, I just, you know, as much as I want. Um, Obama to come up with some kind of thing like this or every other politician to see that this would be a good thing to send humans back to the moon. Uh, and we don't have to do it by ourselves, you know, I mean, he kind of puts a patriotic spin on it, you know, but, uh, we could get other countries involved in this. You know, there's other countries that would probably want to send people to the moon. China wants to send people to the moon. Russia, I know wants to send people to the moon. So uh, I'm sure that they'd, they'd be, you know, more than willing to uh, uh, throw in some dollars, throw in some uh, rubles or whatever, you know, <laughs> uh, whatever the currency is in China, yuan, I think is what it's called. So um, I know they'd be willing to back it if we if we were to get some internet. And it would be great to have an international effort, you know, to, to go back to the moon uh, and not just be us doing it this time, be everybody doing it. So, and I, but I just don't I just don't think Newt has that in him. I just <laughs> I would love it if he did, but he doesn't. He's not going to make this stuff happen. This is all politics. This is all somebody saying something. You know, this might be something he really likes too. It might be something he's. In, I'm sure he probably is interested in it. You know, or he also he wouldn't have said it. But. Uh, he has no intentions of following through with this stuff. I mean, he knows it's not going to happen. He knows it's uh, good to throw out things like that, you know. And we've had uh, years since Bush won, basically. Um, and, and really since Challenger, the Challenger disaster, we've not had any kind of coherent space, you know, space program. No no. Sp uh, forward looking goal or anything like that since challenger. So, uh, and really even before challenger, I mean, you had the space shuttle, but what was the space shuttle? What was the purpose of it? You know, we didn't, we never really, uh, developed a good purpose for it. And when we finally did develop a purpose for it, i.e. going back and forth between the international space station, well, you know, the program's over. So, <laughs> We used the last special, last three space shuttles to build, to finish building it, and then we shut them down. Now that it's finished, we shut them down. So, anyway, um, I'd love for a president to have a positive, uh, grand view of space, of space exploration, of uh, developing the technology, the education, the, the the, the infrastructure, the manufacturing, everything that would go along. I'd love for them to have a grand view of that. I love, I love this view 
but uh, the person it's coming from, uh, the way it was brought up, the circumstances of it being brought up, all of this lets me know that Newt Gingrich has no intentions of making this plan come to fruition. It's, it's all buying votes. It's buying votes in Florida in, you know, in the Space Coast area, basically. Because, uh, A number one, that's not going to fly anywhere else in the United States. You know, when you look at 10% unemployment, people are going to say, why are we spending all this money on space? Well, if you spend all that money on space, ask the people in Huntsville, Alabama. You know, if they were to drop that in there, man, that economy would go up. Uh, Houston, Texas, that economy would go up. Um, Utah, that economy would go up because they, that's, that's where they build solid rocket boosters out there. So, I mean, there's... Um, Tons of places, California, all kinds of places around the country, Louisiana, all these places where we have all this infrastructure already, you know, these places would come back to life. And uh, I'd love to see it, but it's not going to happen. It's just Newt being Newt. It's Newt being a politician, trying to run for president, trying to buy some votes. Uh, will it work? It'll work in Florida. Uh, and it'll work everywhere else where he comes into that uh, part of the country, you know, if he comes to Tennessee, if he comes to Nashville, he's going to say, um, you know, we need to do something to make the country music industry bigger, you know, and people are going to love that here in Nashville. And that's going to buy him some votes here. You know, if he goes down to Gatlinburg, he'll say, you know, we're going to do something to protect the Smoky Mountains, you know, and make this the, uh, an even greater park, you know, so he'll get their votes, you know, and, He's going to go around and promise all this stuff that he can't possibly deliver and has no intentions of delivering, even if he believes in it. He's, you know, these people are just liars. <laughs> That's all I got to say. So uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. And down, down there, there's like comments. And there's other stuff down, well, down there, there's other things, but on this web page there's a place to comment and you can comment you can like you can dislike you can do whatever you want uh, but let me know what you think and I hope a bunch of people watch this video anyway that's all I got see you next time bye